Hi, this is Brian Wilson, and today we're going to generate theme practice readings with a focus on ACT and SAT vocabulary prep. We'll be using Google Docs and Gemini. Here you see I have Google Gemini open, and down in the prompt section, I begin building a prompt for a story I want my students to read. Now, when you do this, you can select a story itself and give it some ideas like baseball or science fiction, something like that, and then add the words that you want to it late at the end of the prompt. Or you can just say, write a prompt for a high school classroom based on these vocabulary words. Either way, it'll generate a story based on the parameters that you give it. Now, it's good to start with a vocab list that you already have. The one that you see here is one that I've generated over the years for my classrooms. They're based on the most common words used in the ACT and the SAT. Here you can see the finished product inside of Gemini. Now, once you end up completing this, one of the things you can do at the bottom is actually select for it to be exported to a Google Doc and then you can begin to work on it again inside of the Google Doc. Now for the part of the identifying the vocab. Since it's already generated it, what you can do is open one of the find the word uh, find boxes by doing control F and then typing in one of your vocab words. And then it'll highlight it within the actual story for you. After you've done that, make sure you go highlight the word itself, click footnote, and then you can copy and paste a set vocab definition into the document. That'll make it a footnote at the bottom of the story. So it's almost as if you've done this kind of uh, action that's very, very similar to what would have been a reading generated by a publishing book for a study based on different vocab sheets. One of the great things about adding footnotes is it doesn't matter where the word shows up inside of the actual document, if it's at the top or the bottom. If it's there multiple times, you would just pick the first time it's shown in there and then add a footnote for it. And then when you do that, since it's an auto generator or a smart tag, it actually creates what section it would be in the numbering. So if it's at the top of the page, but the first one that you actually put in was in the middle, it'll make the first one that you did from the middle of the reading go to number two and the ones at the top, number one. So it reorders the actual definitions in the footnotes for you. You can change the size of the footnote font too as well if you want after you're done putting all of the footnotes in. One last idea as a teacher hack is if you have students in a creative writing class, they can submit their stories with a list of vocab words and have it regenerate their story by injecting the words into their story. Hi, this is Brian Wilson again with BFW Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something for Google Gemini and Google Docs and continue to use all kinds of smart tools and AI in your classroom.